After two murders in the last couple of days, Tulsa now stands at 32 homicides on the year. Glad you're with us tonight at 10. I'm Sarah Whaley. She has the night off. We spoke with the homicide unit this week about where this year's numbers stack up to last year's. Fox 23's John Sebus joins us live. John, what did they tell you? We're down by a good amount, but the homicide unit tells me it's still the same senseless things, leaving families forever broken and lives lost. Tulsa's last three killings are still unsolved. Last weekend, Terrence McElwee was shot and left for dead on Highway 169. This weekend, 19-year-old Nakari Owens was shot and killed at a nightclub. And Monday evening, Corey Shaver was killed, shot while in her own car. It's the same stuff, year in and year out. I mean, nobody gets killed for a good reason. I spoke with the lead detective in the homicide unit, Lieutenant Brandon Watkins, about the recent killings. People let stupid, petty disputes get the better of them and they end up, you know, murdering somebody for for stuff that should have been, you know, a strongly worded email. At 32 homicides this year, we are down considerably from where we were last year. In 2022 at this time, we had nearly 50 homicides. Last year, we had uh, a lot of murders in the first half of the year and right up till about October and in a slowed down dramatically from October. But Lieutenant Watkins says less or more, the killings are a result of the same behavior. Everybody's walking around with a gun, people who should have one and people who should not. So, uh, you know, when everybody's strapped, people tend to get killed that shouldn't be. If you have any information about those killings or any other crimes here in Tulsa, call the Tulsa Police Department or Crime Stoppers. Covering news that matters, John Acebus, Fox 23 News.